Machine Dana, you are such a legend and your content bangs. <laughs> You're damn right it does. <laughs> Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well and having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be talking about text-to-speech, okay? So this is, well, it's text-to-speech, so text to, you get the picture. If you don't know what text-to-speech is, basically typing text, turns it into speech, so you can hear it instead of having to look, okay? It's good for people that are ignorant, or maybe if people just want to troll. Machine Dana sucks, 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 Machine Dana sucks. There's a number of different ways you can add text to speech on your stream, okay? And that goes to whether you're Twitch or YouTube gaming or <laughs> Facebook gaming. There goes the Facebook sponsor. <laughs> You can add it to things like donations, bits, even like subscription messages when people resubscribe or subscribe for the first time to your channel. There are extensions available and there are also like third party tools available. You're probably wondering like what's the point in having text to speech on your channel? Well, some people like it because it's funny. Some people like it because it's entertaining. Some people will actually pay for the privilege of being able to have a text-to-speech on your channel because they just find it funny and, and, and whatever. It does also have some practical things as well. So if you want to have text to speech on all of your text, as in any chat text that comes through, that means that you're able to do virtual reality type streams. So it's really, really useful for that. There are other applications as well. If you're running one monitor, then it's pretty useful for things like that too. So be able to hear the chat. I've yet to see many Twitch streamers have text to speech on like, all of their chat unless they've been a virtual reality streamer but i don't know maybe there's an application maybe there's blind streamers out there there probably is uh, that use it and find it very very useful so there you go but nonetheless it's also a form of revenue if you got it as like an incentivized paid service on your stream and also it rewards people if you're using it for bits or subscriptions and things like that so it's well worth doing but there are loads of different ways to do it in this video i'm going to run through four or five different ways to do it if you do find this useful i'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever feel free to jump into my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana i think we're ready to do this let's go Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go through is the extension that you can get on your Twitch channel. I think this is also available or something similar for YouTube as well, but don't quote me on that and don't ask me questions about it because I don't know as much about the YouTube gaming one, okay? So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you do YouTube gaming and I can't answer your questions. So within your stream manager, so that's your username forward slash stream manager, you can go to extensions here. There are loads of different types of extensions you can get that enable text to speech and they all have different like good things and bad things about them i've used one called say it live now with say it live let's just go into the discovery do a search for say it live and there it is you have to click the install button and that will install it and you can configure it by pressing the the cog button here you do need to make sure that it's actually in the activated column rather than just the installed column otherwise it won't actually work on your channel and what this does in your about section this then creates this panel called basically say it live okay so people then can say things like here like machine dana is incredible uh they can they can send it for an amount and you can define what that amount of bits is so they're paying bits to have text to speech on your channel and then you can add this as a browser source and i'll show you that briefly in a second there is a moderation queue so your moderators are able to moderate the, this they're able to look at this and say yes i approve this message or not um and also there's like a leaderboard as well for people that have used it i'll be honest i've not found this one to be used a great deal on a month by month basis on my channel but i've left it there anyway just in case somebody new comes on and that's just the convenient way for them to add text to speech on the channel let's just go into the config for this briefly you will have to authorize your channel to this so you'll have to allow twitch to be used on say it live so you may have to log in or just click the authorize button and then you get a browser source here which you can just copy you can customize this with the amount of bits to trigger the text to speech and you can even choose different voices i've gone for brian um update information help and support you can join the discord if you've got any specific questions for this particular community machine dana is incredible okay so when you want to add this as a browser source on your streamlabs obs or your obs studio or xsplit or whatever click the plus icon on your sources and select browser source click add source we want to add a new browser source we can call it tts extension add the source it'll put the placeholder there we're pasting in the browser source click done on that and that will work there 
Now, Hello. it does come up this as quite small, voice. so you might want to just, like, make it a lot larger, like that. Ryan is apparently a doggo that goes into people's streams and tells people all about his voice. Wonderful. <laughs> So there you go. That's like a Twitch panel, say it live version of text to speech. Uh, I'm now going to get into some alert box text to speech as well. Now, I've already done a more detailed video about alert box and how to set it up. So I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of how to set up alert box. I will link it in the description. Alert box is from Streamlabs Online. You have to go into streamlabs.com, set up an account. You can log in with your Twitch credentials or your YouTube credentials. I think your Facebook gaming credentials as well. Click on alert box or you can search for it in the search bar. And this is the way widget and it's a similar thing we can copy the url and add it as a browser source all the details are in the video but specifically to text to speech one thing to quickly note here they are discontinuing version 2 so i'm going to show it now in version 2 but when i now click off version 2 they're rolling in whatever yeah whatever so on version 2 you do have global settings here but the global settings for text to speech are not here so what you need to do is go into the specific types of events where you want to allow text to speech hopefully that makes good sense now some things it makes sense to have text to speech for and other things it doesn't like when someone follows you there's no option on twitch or anywhere to say a message blah 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 blah, and i'm following you and actually that would be a pretty good functionality for twitch to add like that's just not something that exists at the moment so clearly you cannot add text to speech anywhere for a twitch follow however for donations there is an area on the let's say for example the streamlabs website where you can donate and you can add a message with that so therefore on the donation event type under donation you can enable the text to speech option by clicking this here let me just move my camera out of the way Ooh, transitions Ooh, check the link in the description for how to do transitions oh so here you can set like first of all you can enable it for donations you can set the text to speech minimum amount to read and this is in i think it's in dollars I think that's one dollar rather than one cent. You can choose the voice and put spam security and even set the volume of it. And you can also say whether or not the text to speech includes the message template. The message template is this thing here. Name has just tipped amount. But bear in mind, alert box in itself also gives an alert on the screen with like a GIF and a sound effect whatever else you've chosen to be on alert box. And again, that's covered in the video. It's not on merch. It's not on CloudBot Redemptions. If you use Loyalty Store, again, check the link in the description for that. Prime Gifted Subscription, it's not on here either. Twitch Follows, as I've mentioned, it's not going to be on here because it just doesn't make sense for it to be on here. Twitch Subs, when someone subscribes to you, they, they can basically leave you like some sort of stupid trolley, spammy, or thank you, genuine message. So on the Twitch Sub, there is a text-to-speech option to enable it. Hosting, it doesn't make sense to have text-to-speech, so it's not there. Twitch Bits, this is probably the most common used version. So this is where you would like type the cheer like let's say for example 100 and then you would do something really annoying like machine dana sucks but then the great thing about this is people can spam it like that and then it just comes through and through and through and through so the viewer is getting like a level of stupidity and troll and entertainment you're having to pull up with the trolling but you're also getting money for that so it's kind of like it's okay this works pretty well because a lot of people on twitch know about this so quite often people will naturally just put some text after their donation just because because why not right why not so it does work pretty well on twitch bits and again raiding it doesn't kind of make sense for text to speech to be on raids so, so far we've added extensions text to speech and we've added donation text to speech we've been able to add bits text to speech and i think was the one more as well subscriber text to speech the final one is adding just text to speech for everything, like literally your whole chat. And there's a lot of options for this as well. For this, I'm gonna to go to speechchat.com. There's a lot of different versions of these types of text to speech to have. This one's very popular. It's very well known. It's pretty trusted. It works pretty well. When you first log in here, you will be asked to connect a Google Drive to this. So when I did this, it said like loads of different Google accounts and which one I wanted to connect to that. All, all it is is just to enable the function to work. So there's not actually a lot of options to that. It's purely just a Google function because it uses Google text to speech service and authorizing that. And it's just a little pop up and you log in with it, whichever account you want to authorize it on. Then you want to connect it with Mixer. Oh my God. 
That's a throwback. Rest in peace, Mixer. So then you can choose whether you want it to be on both YouTube and Twitch if you're doing multi-streaming. When you toggle this on, it will ask you to authorize as well. Same thing. So it wants to update your channels, titles, games, and all that. We'll click authorize on that. We'll see the toggle will move to the right-hand side here. I'll just move my camera again. Ooh, transitions. And what happens here is we're able to now connect Twitch. Now when I go on to... Let me just push this to the left push this to the right. So what we've got here is my Twitch channel here on the text to speech for all text. I can now send a message here. I love you. I love you. There you go. It does appear in the chat. Now, the one thing this does need to be open. If I get rid of this and type it again, it don't work. And of course, if you want to disconnect it, you can easily do that as well, just by toggling both of these off. Connection to your Google Drive and also the connection to Twitch. There are some nice options here just to look at as well. So, and with the stream chat and the control panel, there's all kinds of general voice chat events and user group options. Some of the key ones, so if you hover over this, it says available keywords are username and message. I think by default, this says username said and then what their actual message is, which is obviously pretty useful if you're doing VR, but if you're doing some sort of event or something like that, where you just want to queue the different chats then maybe you don't want the username there but there's some controls there which is pretty good there's all kinds of other options here like filters and keyword filters and things like that so clearly this is very useful if you're doing vr or if you just want to have text-to-speech on your channel say for example your eyesight isn't that great i don't know it's quite a nice tool it works really well machine dana said so there you have it how to add different TTS text to speech to your streaming channel. Don't forget to like the vid and subscribe. Until next time. Have a great day. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>